Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. Today we're taking a look at PS4 Remote Play on the PC. So over here I have the PS4 Remote Play app. You can open it up, it's going to check for whatever updates you have. You have to have a wired DualShock 4 uh, connected to your PC, which I have got. If you go to settings, you can sign in to do it. Um, if your PlayStation 4 is your remote, not remote, if it's your primary PS4, mine isn't. Um, you can change the quality, I'm going to go for high 720p. And my frame rate is going to be high, so I'll get 60fps. Click OK. I've already done the pairing process, it's really easy. You just type in a code, and you click Start. It's going to search for our PS4. It's going to connect straight to the PS4. And we're going to see, it's the first time I'm doing this. I've played it on the Vita, and it's quite good on there. I've done it on my phone, and it's not too great. Um, we're going to have full screen. So it looks like it's using like the phone as um, the default UI, because it's got like the share button. And it tells us all about battery and stuff. But we're running in 720p. It doesn't look too bad. I mean... It does look better on a smaller screen. I'm currently blowing up to my 1080p display, um, but I was playing it on my MacBook screen um, under Windows, and it looks really good. Also, this is available under Mac natively as well. I haven't tried that out, and I can't record that unfortunately, which is why I'm trying on here. But it looks just like it's like you're watching a YouTube video, basically, or like you're watching a live stream. Um, obviously, it depends on how. Good the quality of the game. We're trying Black Ops 3 because it's a fu uh, like a it's a high paced game. I think I haven't put any bots on as well, so it might just be me running around shooting for a bit. But it should still be a good test of how good the input delay is. I haven't got free for all. Uh, the PS4 up to compare with it, but so far switching between menus, it looks decent enough. Let's get this class. Let me just turn down the volume quickly. See, it does seem to be responding. Right. There is a little bit of input lag. I mean, if you're playing single player games or um, offline then you probably be fine with it. There is a tiny weeny bit of input delay. I mean, after a while, right. it's like two milliseconds or something, but it's definitely noticeable. Um, obviously, after a while of playing, you will get used to it. Oh, okay, it's a nice bit of thing there. Like I said, you do need a decent network connection for this to run well. Obviously, we can try uh, changing the settings down to 540p in a second to see if that makes any difference. I think, you know what, let's try that now. Let's close down the application. Unfortunately, you can't do it on the fly. Um, let's open the remote play app again if it wants to load. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go to settings and let's change it to 540p. We want the frame rate to be higher because obviously, if we're playing something like Call of Duty, then 70, not 70, 60 frames a second is going to be. Um, Optimum, obviously, if you're playing something like GTA, then 30 frames a second is probably fine. Right. As you probably see, the quality is a little bit worse. However, it still feels about the same. I mean, like I said, it's playable for like offline games. Like, you realistically wouldn't be, you know, using this to play online anyway. But it's decent enough that you could use it like, like if you want to play Minecraft or you want to um what else you could play? Um like Legacy of the Doors, you could definitely play on this. Like I've played Legacy of the Doors on my Vita a ton of times because you don't really need a a fast response time for it. But it, it's definitely playable. It's definitely usable. We definitely think you should check it out. It's free, so obviously if you check it out and you like what you see and you like how it plays, then you know keep using it. Obviously, if you can use it on a Windows tablet, I'm pretty sure you can because it's Windows 10 compatible. Um, then that's gonna be pretty cool having like a you know eight, ten inch tablet, or whatever, to have your PS4 on that you can use when uh, other people in your house are using your TV. If that's your situation, obviously this isn't for everyone. Uh, a lot of people have their own TVs and be able to you know play whenever they want. But for those people that share a TV, this is probably your best solution yet. Yeah, if not, go buy a PS Vita. <laughs> Massive advocate of that console. It's definitely underappreciated, but definitely worthwhile, in my opinion. So yeah, a little bit of input delay. 
quality is decent enough to be usable. Obviously, this is 540p. Um, depends on how stressed your network is. If you've got a really fast network, you should be fine. Mine's okay, and obviously I'm getting a little bit of graphical interference, which is why it's best if this was like uh, offline game. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That'll be wow. Okay, that was bad. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.